But the other way, and this is tremendous if you do this because this is the month I need your help. My, my, I'll be honest, my business is slow. So my business is incredibly slow this month. If you want to directly help me out, become a paid subscriber on my Twitch TV channel. It's things that have happened in the past few years to screw me over and make me not able to afford my taxes at this point. That I need your help. Become a channel member, do a super chat, do a super sticker, tip. Tonight a tip would be the best because I've got major bills coming due. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So Dark Side Phil has been e-bagging pretty much for about 10 years now, probably a little bit more. And I wanted to take this opportunity to look at his e-bagging from early on and gradually get to the present to see if there are any cracks in the pattern. Because in my opinion, it looks like the pattern hasn't changed for a whole decade. The pattern is cry about imminent bills that are insurmountable, beg for money and guilt trip the audience if he doesn't get enough money. And it's honestly despicable. And that's why he has such well, a shitty the other reputation way, this that is he has. Tremendous Without further ado, this is let's get right into the video. My, my, I'll be honest, my business is slow because there's no new games right now. And I spent two weeks in Seattle, so I had no footage for two weeks. So my business is incredibly slow this month. If you want to direct help me out and this is the last minute where you can get a very very strongly increased chance to win the ps4 become a paid subscriber on my twitch tv channel it's five dollars a month i get about half of that it directly helps especially in months like this when hey it's out of my control no new games and i'm already i'm busy doing other I have to have a, a, an adjustment period and a time where if I'm going to change and improve my content and, and react directly to the recommendations of my viewer base, I need I need to be tit for tat. I need your help as well, okay? And primarily that's what we're here tonight to talk about is the fact that if I'm going to make big changes to the kind of stuff that I put out for you on a daily basis that we need to have some kind of an adjustment period and I need your help. I can't, I can't financially stop playing games. I can't financially say, I'm not going to play this popular release uh, because I want to do a highly edited montage of it. So, so far we've seen 2014 and 2015 and it's the same garbage he does today. Complete nonsense. Just beg for money, whine about your life. Just know, Phil, that your financial situation is not your viewer's fault. It shouldn't be your viewer's burden. It is your burden. If you're not making enough super chats or tips or memberships, then just find a different business model. Find a business model that relies on ad revenue. For example, my other channel with 30,000 subscribers is paying me decently. It's paying bills and everything necessary. And I've never needed to ask for a single dime from my viewers. But since they enjoy the content so much, they voluntarily become members, do super chats because they appreciate the quality. Now your problem, Phil, is not your viewers and how little they're supporting you. It's your videos. Your videos are garbage. You're always whining. Your gameplay is bad. And if I were you, I would focus on improving the quality of your content instead of constantly whining about not getting enough money from your supporters. Full and I could have a YouTube that's successful, right? We've been through so much since 2008. We've been through everything, copyright strikes, and fucking false flags, and channels getting shut down, and being kicked out of fucking ads, and being kicked off of Blip TV, and going through partnerships, and this and that, and contract renegotiations, and herpa fucking dirt. And I'm still fucking here. How many people have been through the shit that I've been through on YouTube, and they're still fucking here? I'm not giving up. I'm gonna be here daily to give you fun content. That's the part, that's the goal. But when this shit happens with YouTube and I have no control over it, I need your help. So here Phil is saying that he had it so rough on YouTube, he had to deal with copyright strikes and this and that and contract negotiations. So does everybody else. Personally, on my other channel, we've had, I believe, 32 false copyright strikes in about a year. We beat every single one of them. Then on my other channel, there was a guy that was doing a bunch of false copyright strikes, almost got the whole thing deleted. That's just part of the game. Did I whine and bitch about it? No, of course not. I just tried to expose the people that were abusing the system. 
but I didn't moan and whine for hours because of these issues like DSP is doing. And that's the problem with DSP. I don't think he's ever had a normal, real job where like you go nine to five and go to work every morning and come back late at night. I've done it so I can truly appreciate how being a content creator, although it's not easy, it is definitely easier than most nine to five jobs. And I don't understand why this guy is whining constantly when in fact all he has to do is make better content and everything else will come in line. This for say five, six months and nothing improves. There's no way that I could keep doing this full time. It's just not viable. All right. And that's real talk with everyone. I'm not sugarcoating here. I'm not making it sound worse than it is. That's the real talk is that if things don't go better than they did this month for the next several months, I'm basically screwed and I'm going to have to drop this and have to go do something. I don't even know what, because even if I go to find another job, it's not going to be making as, enough, as much money as I'm doing on YouTube, but I can't continue to perform like this because I won't be able to pay my bills. I want to keep doing this, but you know, we'll find out as more time passes. Okay. But every pledge counts, even as little as a dollar. The most successful people who use Patreon have a ton of people who give a buck. I'm not kidding you. Thousands of people who watch their stuff. Wow, I can give a buck a month. That's not a big deal. Boom. Immediately, an alternate source of income. I don't have to worry about views on YouTube. I wouldn't have to worry about performance or any of that shit. I'd just be able to go with the flow. But I need your help. All right? So please consider pledging. Patreon.com forward slash all amount. It's absolutely true. Go look on Patreon at these people who are making ridiculous amounts of money every month. And you'll see they have like thousands of people giving them a buck a month. That's how it's, it's successful because it's nothing to you, the dollar. But it adds up for the person, okay? So if that speech didn't convince you to whip out your credit card and give Phil a dollar, I don't know what will. But when we really think about it, why would we give a dollar to Phil? What content does he provide that is even worth a dollar? I've watched his real streams, not from the quote unquote detractor community. And all he does while he's playing is he's terrible. He's always whining about mechanics, lag, or the developers being bad. It's just whining and complaining. He's not giving any useful insights on the game or giving any objective opinion. It's just bitching and moaning constantly. So I don't know why people would be compelled to give him even a penny. Oh. I don't know what's going on. It really is confusing me. I'm scratching my head. And you know, maybe I'm just paranoid, but I, when I look at my earnings for the month every day and I see that it's barely going up and I'm like, but I put out tons of new videos of new games. You know, what's going on? I don't know what to do. All right, I just don't get it. So it's this simple, everyone. I need your help, you know? And it would be one thing if it was just me doing the standard advertising on pre-stream. This is not that. This is me actually seriously worried that if things don't pick up by the end of the year, that I might not be able to do this anymore. And that would suck. I really would have a hard time walking away from YouTube. I would, because I love doing it. And you guys love watching it. It's not like, oh, well, no one cares about Phil and no one wants to watch him do it. I think that if I were to walk away from YouTube, that it would actually be a, a big detriment. There'd be a big hole there for a lot of people who enjoy watching my stuff daily and like my style of coverage. It's a lot different from other people's, right? On that note, I do have to agree with Phil. His style of videos is completely different and is very unique. Usually a streamer would talk about the video games, have some gameplay, maybe talk about some news, mention support here and there, and that's it. You would never hear about their bills, them cry about how much they don't have enough money. They would just suck it up and try to make the best out of the situation. Phil, on the other hand, will spend literally half of his streams whining about how much he's not getting enough money and how he's stressed and he has to pay this bill and that bill. It's not even about the games anymore. It's just about the grifting. It's just about guilt tripping your audience into forking over some dollars. And that's why his viewership is dropping. Go away when I didn't fail. You know, yeah, I've done a lot of things wrong over the years. I will publicly admit it. But right now, I'm not failing. Right now, I'm listening to feedback. I'm doing things that people want. I have all these positive improvements. Yeah, if ever you wanted to pledge to my Patreon, you've been holding out, um, please consider pledging now. Because I don't know what I'm going to do come April. I really don't. I'm not lying here. I know a lot of people are like, well, then why aren't you freaking out and doing this? Because what is that going to do? 
for me to sit here and freak out on stream and not do any more gameplay or whatever what does that help nothing so please please i'm serious about this please if you can pledge to my patreon patreon.com forward slash dark side phil i need your help all right um so those are the three methods everyone tips here on the stream um teespring or Patreon. Those three ways help me immediately, and honestly, I need your help immediately right now. Then I need your help mo the most. I need to raise as much as I possibly can by mid-January in order to pay these taxes, get past them, and to be able to focus on the positive future in 2018. If I can't, I, and I, you know, I gotta sell my house. So now we're in 2017, and he says he has to sell his house if he doesn't get any more money. But how much money do you need, Phil? Because people were constantly supporting him, but it's never enough. He's so gluttonous with the tips. He's like a bottom feeder that will never appreciate what he gets. He always wants more. Why is his mortgage our responsibility? And these e-baggers really piss me off. I guess it's because I've seen so many of them on my other channel. We have a guy that was e-pimping his daughter, a five-year-old daughter, that is, for money. We have another one that are constantly just raising money, pretending it's for lawyers, when in fact they're just pocketing it. And e-beggars just make me sick. The fact that this guy has been doing it for over a decade is crazy, it's mind-blowing. And it's all the idiots who support him that are enabling this kind of behavior. If they stop giving him 2-3 to dollar tips and super chats and member bombs, then he would stop begging because he would realize that it's not worth it and he would have to innovate and actually provide good content. But they're enabling him, he's like a drug addict that's being enabled by a family member. All right, so I need your help. In the next couple of weeks, what I need you guys to do is if you're on stream and you wanna be supportive, all right, to basically either do two things, either pledge to my Patreon. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for 10 awesome years as a content creator and for all of your awesome support recently. As you know, I am facing some difficulties coming up in the next several months. I need your help with them, not gonna lie, and Anything that you contribute to the streams helps tremendously right now, okay? And so it makes the views less, but according to YouTube's criteria for quality views, apparently it's going up. The problem is YouTube ad revenue is shit, you know? <clears throat> and with YouTube revenue being shit, I can't fix that, you know? I can't. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> and what other, you know, the other thing that sucks is if it keeps snowing like this, cat can't work because already twice this week, she got called, you know, they, they, her boss called her and said, don't come in today, you know, it's not worth it. You know, we're, there's no, you know, it's, it's a slow dig of the snow and everything. So that's lost money, you know, that we need to pay bills and the like, and it sucks already two days. What happens, if it happens more this week, it could be even worse, you know? So many things have happened in the past few years to screw me over and make me not able to afford my taxes at this point that I need your help. So, to end the plug segment, guys, the truth of the matter right now is that financially, I'm in a hole really bad. Um, you guys have been really nice this week with tips, but guess what? All that tip money's gone already. It's paid bills. Um, so, I need your help right now. If you want to help me out the most right now, please tip me. Tipping me is going to allow me to pay more bills until I get paid by Twitch, because right now, I'm already overdrawn. Um, but, again, one final reminder. Please, guys, I need your help right now. You know, Please tip me if you can. No contributions are not mandatory, nor are they expected on my stream, but I really need help this coming week. Before I get paid by Twitch, I need your help. So please help me if you can. So now we're already in 2020. That's six years of documented e-begging. And you would think that after six years, he would realize that it's not working. He needs to switch something up, but he won't. Even to this day right now in 2023, Phil is probably e-bagging as I'm recording this video. I'm sure he's live and he's asking for money like he does every single day. Now people are also saying that he is wasting his money, that all these donations he's getting are going to very bad usage, such as mobile games, there's also a rumor, although it's unfounded, of hookers. 
Now he says that it's not true, it's unfounded, but obviously the guy lies so much, he's constantly lying to his fans, so why would you be able to believe him, right? So recently, he accepted to do an interview on a podcast called Side Scroller. At the time of recording this video, it hasn't happened yet, but hopefully he will answer some questions there. You know, of, of what I'm being made on a stream, right? Which is all wrong, because of course, there's a million factors. There's chargebacks you don't know about. There's the fees associated with each and every transaction. What you see coming is not what a streamer gets. It's bullshit. Okay, but this is how they are. They're just nuts in that regard, but I Don't I don't even do that You know what I see is if there's a pattern of days if there's like several days where I'm noticing Wow, that actually was a series of days where things were quite slow You know on any kind of support and how, how do I really gauge it? How do I notice it? Well, as you know, we have goals in effect on streams, right? So for example today if we raise $50 on this very stream, I put on my gunner glass Okay, and then if we raise $100 on the stream, I put on a hat. You guys pick a silly hat for me to wear or whatever, right? Um, <clears throat> so, that's what I mean. Like, that's how I gauge it. Is like, if I notice, you know, I've been putting on the gl glasses a lot, then probably things are going good. If I notice, man, I haven't worn a hat in a long time. It probably means it's been a string of pretty slow days, right? You know, and that's really how I do it. And in particular, I don't look at stuff until I absolutely have to. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh crap. You know, well, here's what's coming up. I got bills coming up. I got this coming up. And wow, because I've had a string of slow days that have happened within like a two week period. I'm in a situation where, wow, things are real bad right now. And I don't even know how I'm gonna do what I need to do in the next week. You know, and it's like, well now what do you do? Say nothing. If I say absolutely nothing, then no one knows, right? And there may be someone, let's say for example, and this is my rationale, and I hope you understand my rationale where I'm coming from. I want, I want to flesh this out because I feel like, again, in the honesty and transparency of the kind of person that I am, right? This is what I want to talk about. And if you find this offensive, I'm sorry. So that was literally last week. We've looked at a decade of e-begging and nothing has changed. In that specific video, yes, he was a little bit more slick about it. He was just casually mentioning the bills trying not to ask because the people are pissed off with him but still recently he's e-begging as much as he did before people are calling him out and he is not going to change what needs to change is the people that are enabling him if they cut him off and they stop giving him money when he's whining then maybe he'll have to change and find another solution to his problems Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this ride. If there's one thing you can take away from this video is that a leopard doesn't change its spots. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.